When I transfer my drawing over to the panel, I want to make sure that I'm capturing the framing that I set up at first. I'm going to make these little tick marks on the corners just to mark generally where it's going to be. I'm going to make my final composition decisions once it's over the panel. Then I can lift up my drawing and I can put the panel down underneath. And I want to line up my drawing very carefully on top of the panel. I'm going to make sure that I have the right amount of space all the way around. If I've made a cropped composition, I'm going to make sure that I like where it crops. At this point, I really take the time to envision the final painting. This is the last chance I get to decide what the final composition will be. When I have the drawing lined up exactly where I want, I'm going to make a mark on the panel, marking any major horizontals or verticals that are important for my composition. In this case, I have two horizontal lines showing the front edge and the back edge of the shelf. I want to make sure that those are perfectly horizontal on the panel, so I'm going to use a T-square to make sure that they are horizontal. So first I'm going to mark exactly where I want them to be on the panel. I'm going to slide my pencil right underneath and make a little tick mark right where the line is. I've done a tick mark for this line and a tick mark for this line. Then I can use my T-square to carefully draw those lines. Then when I put my drawing back on the panel, I can line up the lines that I've drawn on my drawing with the lines that I've drawn on the panel and make sure everything is perfectly horizontal. When I have lined up my drawing with a composition that I feel really confident about, I'm going to again mark the corners. And I'm going to mark the corners with longer lines really, really clearly with the side of my pencil leaning against the edge of the panel. These are the marks I am making for my final composition. Now I'm ready to actually do the transfer process. To make sure things don't slide around very much, I'm going to work right on my drawing board, which I've taken down from my easel. I'm going to tape my panel to the drawing board so it doesn't move around. I'm going to tape the edges to the drawing board, and I'm not going to tape the corners. The reason I'm not going to tape the corners is because I don't want to hide those corners when I need to line them up with the tick marks on my drawing. Now we're ready to start the transfer process. I'm using a soft pencil, and I'm going to use it to scribble all over the back of my drawing. Here I'm using a B. You can use anywhere from an H to an HB to a B. There's another way to do a transfer, and that is by using carbon paper. This is a sheet of carbon paper. It's essentially tissue paper with one side sprayed with a thin layer of graphite. If you press on this and draw, it will transfer whatever you draw onto your panel. I'll demonstrate a little corner so you can see what it's like. I can line up my drawing right on top of my panel, on top of the transfer paper, and using a hard pencil, I can trace right over all of my lines. When I've pressed my hard pencil onto the drawing, it made a little mark onto the panel. However, I have found that using transfer paper makes it very difficult to line up my drawing with the panel underneath because it's very difficult to see the corners through the transfer paper. You have to press your fingers really hard to feel the corners, especially when you're using the thicker mylar. So I prefer to use a different method, and I just scribble soft graphite on the back of my drawing. This is the front of my drawing. This is how it's lined up on the panel. I'm going to turn it over so I'm working on the back of the drawing. I'm going to scribble graphite with a nice soft pencil all over the back of the drawing. This is making a nice soft layer of graphite, so when I flip the paper over and I use a hard pencil to trace my lines, it will push the soft graphite onto the panel.
Now that I've scribbled all over the back of the drawing with my nice soft pencil, I can flip the drawing over and I can line it up with the marks that I made. I'm going to tape down the edges of my drawing, and since I've already taped the panel, I know the panel's not going to move. And now my drawing is lined up very accurately on top of my panel. I'm going to use my hard 2 h pencil to go over all the lines. I've left the third corner untaped so I can lift up the drawing and check to make sure that the lines are transferring. I'm also going to work only from that corner where I've left the tape free all the way across the whole drawing. I don't want to skip around and move back and forth because it will be easy to lose my place when I'm tracing. I'm going to lift up the corner and make sure that I'm actually making the transfer. Now that I've transferred the drawing to the panel, I actually go over all the lines again from life. The reason is that when we do a tracing, all the lines sort of have a dead, traced quality to them. They don't look like a really living drawing. So once again, I go over every single line and I refine it bit by bit, looking at my subject from life. <laughs> 